sparks from the motor or worn out motor brushes. Replacing the pump and motor assembly, pump and motor already assembled together. The assembly fixes common compressor problems, such as not building pressure, excessive sparks from the motor, or worn out motor brushes. Replacing the pump and motor assembly is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm gonna show you how. Before starting any work on your air compressor, be sure to unplug it and drain any pressure out of the tank. I'll begin by removing the top motor cover. Now remove the motor clamp. Now remove the wire connections from the motor. One of the connections is a sliding terminal, and I can just remove it with a pair of pliers. The other connection has a crimp nut, and that one I'll need a cut. There's three screws that hold the motor and pump to the frame, and I'll go ahead and remove those. Now I can begin installing the new pump and motor assembly. First, I'll take the wire with the bare end and route it underneath the motor. There's a slot in the frame that that wire will slide into. Now I'll place the motor and pump into the frame, making sure that everything is aligned. Make sure that the wire is out of the way so it's not going to rub against the motor. That looks good. Now I can secure it with the screws. Now I'll strip back the cord wire that we cut earlier. I want about 3 eighths of an inch of wire showing. And then I'll take the black wire from the motor. This is the one with the bare end. I'm going to go ahead and cut down its length a little bit. And then I'll strip this end back. Again, about 3 eighths of an inch. And now I can make the wire connection. I'll twist the two wires together. and then I'll install a new crimp wire connector. And I'll reconnect the wire with the sliding terminal.
and that takes care of the wiring. The exhaust tube on the old pump assembly was crimped onto the outlet nipple, so the kit comes with a new hose and a hose clamp. The first thing I want to do is cut the hose to length. So I'm going to thread it onto the nipple where it mounts to the tank, bring it around to the pump, mark the length, and I'll cut this off. I'll place the hose clamp over the hose and install it onto the nipple. And now I'll just tighten up the clamp. Now I can reinstall the motor clamp. Make sure you have the wires from the motor tucked into the groove so they don't get pinched. And then I'll secure the clamp with the screws. And two more on the other side. And I'll finish up by reinstalling the cover.